Shalom everyone, I'm at the beach in the city of Ashdod and although the weather is perfect for swimming, that's not what I'm here for. Today we are doing something even more significant, the atonement rituals of the Jewish High Holidays. That's why I'm wearing white and today I'm participating in a Indian Jewish ceremony here in the city of Ashdod. <laughs> Before we get into the atonement rituals, let's talk about the Indian jewelry. We have a rich history that spans thousands of years and encompasses several Jewish communities, including the Cochin Jews, Bene Israel, and the Baghdadi Jews. And today they bring their unique traditions to the mosaic of global Judaism. And fun fact, Jews in India were actually never persecuted. There was never anti-Semitism in India. They were always a safe and protected community. All right, now back to the rituals. The Jewish High Holidays, also known in Hebrew as Yambim Noraim, are the epitome of spiritual intensity in Judaism, with the spotlight on repentance and atonement. So how do we do this? First of all, Teshuvah. This means returning, and it's all about making amends, resolving to be better, and apologizing where it's due. Next, we have Tefillah, or prayer. The melodies might differ across cultures, but the essence remains the same, a conversation with God, seeking forgiveness and pledging to do better. Then comes tzedakah, the practice of giving charity. By giving to those who are less fortunate, we work to make the world more just. Finally, fasting. From sunset to sunset on Yom Kippur, we abstain from food and drink. It's not just a physical discipline, it's a spiritual cleanse. And here we are at the beach to observe Tashlich, another meaningful ritual where we symbolically cast our sins into a body of water and basically say goodbye to our sins as we welcome upon ourselves a new Jewish year. <laughs> This is a symbolic ceremony where you take dirt from your pants pockets and throw it into the ocean or any body of water. And we are doing this at the beach here in the Mediterranean Sea because that's what we have in Ashdod. Whether you're from Tel Aviv, New York or Mumbai, it doesn't matter because these rituals unite us as one, one Jewish nation. They are not just about saying sorry, they are about initiating change within ourselves, our communities, and the world at large. How does it feel like to be, you know, Jewish from India, living in Israel? I am I'm feeling very proud because I'm very happy. This is my country, I'm safe here. And sure, also Israel love India and India love Israel. It's together all the time and I'm very happy. And that's a wrap, my friends. Atonement is a journey from the past through our present into a much brighter future. And of course, much and big thanks to the Indian Jewish community here in Israel. As you can see, they are thriving. We are celebrating together with them. So make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel to never miss any important video about culture, politics, news. Shalom and be blessed from Israel.